Hey there, this is Tomomi, and in this video, I'll explain the key features of Teams app capabilities with my doodles. The first one is tabs, where you can display information in a visual interface. You see there are tabs on top, and you can add your own custom tabs here too. And click in one of those, so it displays a full screen view. For example, Team Clock, where you can view everybody's time zones and current day and time. My teammate Bob actually wrote that custom app for the team, and it's pretty useful because we are a globally distributed team. And some business analysis too. You may want to create a cool data visualizations like this one. Basically, tabs of web apps embedded in iframe in Teams client. Teams does support dark mode and high contrast mode, so you should definitely add the features to your app too. Alright, another capability I want to show you is bots. Bots can have a conversational interface between a user and a bot. Let's say a user says something like, hey bot, and the bot replies, maybe greet back, hello. The user can make a command to the bot, let's say, make me a sandwich. Well, maybe a chatbot cannot make a physical food, but can generate an order when you are using some third-party pizza shop APIs. And you can also display some images or UI components like that here too. Probably this pizza scenario is not so realistic for you, but you can create all kinds of automation in the conversational UI. So use your imaginations. And the next one is messaging extensions. This feature comes with two different types, search and action. And I'll explain search commands here first. The command can be invoked by a user from two different places, and one of them is that search box right here. Let's say stocks app is already installed where everybody can look up a ticker symbol like MSFT. Then enter. The result shows up in the drop down here. Yeah, I'm pretty hopeful with the stock price. <laughs> and another place to invoke the app is that compose area right here. By clicking the app icon, you get the pop over. And you can enter a query here too, then get the result. The difference is that the result can be shared with a team. So when you click here, uh, it can be displayed in the message view. Another type of messaging extension is action commands. Oops, I misspelled it. Uh, anyways, so this command is invoked by a user from any one of these messages. And when the user hover a message, they get a little menu with emoji and stuff. So click the last one that gives the drop-down menu. Then click More Actions that gives another drop-down menu with names of the apps that use a feature. So click one, and it makes some actions, like generating a report or something. The result can be sent as a reply in the thread of the original message. All right, so I hope you get some good ideas about Teams app features. Thank you, and bye now.